Okay. There is no actual evidence if Smilodon climbed trees or not. First of all, Smilodon was heavier than a lion and heavier than a Bengal tiger and much heavier than a black bear. Probably the same size as a as a grizzly. You know, and a grizzly bear can't climb trees. I mean, a grizzly bear cub can, but an adult grizzly, like an adult male, cannot climb trees. <laughs> the only subspecies of Smilodon that may could have climbed trees was Smilodon gracilis, since it's close to the size of a modern jaguar, although jaguars do not climb trees that well, but they can, because I saw a documentary of a jaguar climbing a tree to catch a sloth. Um, but still, Smilodon uh, Fatalis and Populator, since they're much more heavier than a modern lion and a tiger, yeah, it they would not climb trees. They wouldn't. First of all, Smilodon Populator is one th is either. 800 or 1,000 pounds, and Fatalis is 700 pounds, 600 to 700 pounds, or 750, but it, it's impossible, because they're heavy, they're not built to climb trees. Even if it catched a prey animal, you know, it wouldn't even climb up a tree like a leopard or a cougar. And since Smilodon was the apex predator of the forested areas, and, well, F Smilodon Fatalis was the top predator of the forest areas, and since um, pop Populator lived in the sa open country of savannas, there would be no reason why it, would, it wouldn't um, drag its prey and hide it up a tree. I'm tired of this. I'm really tired of this. There's a Facebook comment because someone drew um, two Smilodon populators, I think, that dragged a, a terror bird up a tree. First of all, Smilodon populator would not even climb a tree. Secondly, the terror bird is much heavier than even Smilodon populator, I believe. I mean, it could drag a carcass, but it wouldn't drag up a tree. And, and they're heavy cats. Smilodon Populator was a heavy. So it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't drag a, a carcass up a tree. That also includes with Fatalis. I'm tired of this.